Hello and welcome to the video abstract of our paper about the role of CMET as a biomarker and player in innate and acquired resistance in non-small cell lung cancer. In the last decades, tyrosine kinase inhibitors have created a paradigm shift in the treatment of non-small cell lung cancer. Biomarkers are used to identify the patients that will benefit the most from treatment with TKIs. But selecting the best biomarker remains a challenge for many targeted therapies. Aberrations in CMET are both known as oncogenic drivers and as resistance mechanisms against EGFR TKIs. Today, the CMET status is mostly determined using immunohistochemistry, while fluorescent in situ hybridization or mutational analysis is often not performed in the clinic. Several clinical trials testing CMET TKIs or monoclonal antibodies are currently ongoing or already completed. Previous studies have demonstrated a significant synergy between CMET and EGFR signaling pathways. Currently, the strategy to target both pathways simultaneously is under intense investigation. Another tumor suppressor that plays a role in non-small cell lung cancer is TP53. Mutations in TP53 are present in 50% of lung cancers. Previous research has shown that deficient TP53 leads to CMET overexpression and promotes the recycling of the CMET receptor. This leads to an increase in the invasiveness of the tumor. In the case of EGFR, co-occurrence of TP53 mutations lead to a shorter response time of patients to EGFR TKIs. This study had three main goals. Firstly, we wanted to determine the CMET biomarker status of TKI-naive non-small cell lung cancer patients to identify possible candidates that might benefit from CMET TKIs as first-line therapy. Secondly, we wanted to investigate the correlation between the CMET EGFR and TP53 pathways by determining the gene status and protein expression levels. Finally, we searched for significant correlations between these parameters. In this figure, the results of the CMET immunohistochemistry and chromogenic in situ hybridization are shown. Panel A contains a sample without CMET expression. Panel B shows low expression. Panel C shows a medium expression and panel D shows a high expressing sample. For the in-situ hybridization, panel E shows a sample with low amplification, whereas panel F shows a sample with high amplification. Also notice the clusters of the amplified CMET gene in panel F. This figure shows the CMET expression in samples of patients that have never been treated with targeted therapies. All three samples are from tumors that harbor an EGFR mutation. The left is a tumor with an L858R mutation, in the middle a tumor with an exon 19 deletion, and on the right a tumor with an exon 20 insertion. In our study, all tumors with an EGFR mutation showed medium or high expression of CMET. With next generation sequencing, we have identified several mutations in CMET. We have mapped them on the crystal structure of the receptor. In brown, you can see a part of the ligand HGF or hepatocyte growth factor. In green is the SEMA domain of CMET, and in purple a part of the anti-CMET antibody onartuzumab. The E168D and N375S mutations have been reported to affect the affinity for HGF. The S203T mutation has been reported as being germline. The I333T mutation has not been described before and is situated in the onartuzumab binding region. This mutation might influence the binding of onartuzumab to CMET. These are the main conclusions of our study. Firstly, CMET expression is strongly correlated with EGFR expression and EGFR mutations. It is also correlated with mutations in TP53. When comparing CMET expression between primary and metastatic tumors, a moderate agreement in CMET status is found. We have detected the I333T mutation, which might influence binding of antibodies to the ligand binding domain of CMET. We thank you for watching our video and we hope that you will enjoy our paper.